a good morning. Uh, today God has put in my spirit to bring a word of deliverance to someone who is in captivity. Maybe I would start by explaining what is deliverance. Deliverance is an act of being set free, being ransomed, being liberated, uh, being discharged from anything that is holding you, being rescued for something that seems to have an upper hand over your life. And um, maybe I can say uh, devil has so many ways of caging us or holding us captivity uh, through afflictions, through attacks, through addictions, changing our characters, changing our, our lives, or changing the will of God in our lives. Uh, you can find a child, um, probably an athlete, a, good, a child who is good in sports, but something just happened to this child and he breaks probably the leg or the hand and the life of that child alters. When he was supposed to become a superstar in sports, the, child, the life of that child gets distorted. Or you can find an arrow fired in the head of person, probably someone in campus start developing headaches and then it develops to mental disorder and the life of that child is distorted. Or you can find a good family which was so good in going to church. The husband changes, becomes a drug start following women all over here and there and all of a sudden it becomes um, wild in the family and the family is broken these are just some of incidents um, the enemy uses to fire into people's lives uh, my Bible records in the book of Psalms 34 verses 17 or rather 19 many are the afflictions of the righteous but God delivers all of them from them that is the good news about it. It doesn't matter what the enemy has fired. It doesn't matter what the enemy has said concerning your life. God delivers all of them from his children. Hmm. The, the, some of the attacks God has sent me to come and counter today, I've listed them on my laptop. Maybe I can just mention quite a few here. Uh, the afflictions of diseases. These are some of diseases which attack human beings. They can be chronic, they can be acute, they can be terminal. Anything the enemy has fired into your life, anywhere, be it in your head, your neck, your chest, your, your stomach, your, uh, your womb, your limbs, this just a pain or disorder of any kind. God has sent me to come and counter it. Another uh, kind of attack I'm coming to counter is evil pronouncement, generational curses, enchantment, cycle of, cycle of poverty, inherited spirits you find people are carrying forward, uh, spirits which used to be with their fathers, which, will be to be, which used to be with their grandparents, probably it's polygamy, it's uh, drinking or excessive drinking, it was... Um, um, being irresponsible, it's um, probably, what can I say, uh, someone battering his wife. These are some of the things, you know, someone can carry to, their, to a future generation without knowing. Uh, God has sent me to come and counter it. Another thing God has sent me to come and counter is satanic powers, powers of witches, sorcery, charms, amulets, manipulators of stars and destiny, warlords, voodoo powers, talisman, evil powers um, that bind people from progressing, bondage with the enemy cages people so that they cannot move forward, monitoring spirits, the ones which Satan uses. You find a fly just somewhere in your house and it's there and it's monitoring you without you knowing. It's monitoring the conversation you're having there and the network is being connected to the hell. Devil is listening every communication and every progress you're planning in your house. God has sent me to come and disconnect all those networks, to shatter those monitoring spirits, shatter those monitoring mirrors, occultic images. There are some images you find in a building and that's, those images, they have impact on your, on mostly economy. Like sometimes I see in Indian, Indian shops or supermarkets, you find some leaves of, um, of mango trees and, um, and some what, what they normally put also pepper, pili pili on their doors, hanging on a string, and that string also has some knots. You don't know what is that they are tying. God has sent me to come and counter those cultic images, antichrist powers that cause accidents on our roads, uh, that cause havoc 
uh, some of these things you see, math, death, it's not the plan of God, it's the plan of the enemy using the agents to shed blood so that they can gain power, probably in, po in, pro in politics or in business wealth, to manipulate people's wealth and life so that they can gain powers. Uh, God has sent me to come and counter those kind of attacks. Another kind of attack I'm coming to counter is strongholds, strongmans, powers of the air, underwater powers, they are called underground powers or marine spirits, forest powers and mountain powers. Another um, kind of attack God has sent me to come and counter is midnight arrows. These are arrows which are fired at people when they are asleep. They normally come as in, um, in form of nightmares. You find yourself eating very yummy roasted meat. Hmm. That is an arrow of death being fired to any member of your family, if not yourself. You find yourself, you've dreamt with a toilet sinking, of you fallen in a, in a toilet or in a sewer. You are becoming a waste. Your life is being cut short, you're going to become a waste. You find yourself sweeping your house or your compound at night in a dream my sister you've just swept your dream you've just swept your your visions or your blessings you find yourself uh attending a wedding or being married that's a spiritual husband finding his way into your life and your marriage will just be scattered or you will never get a relationship you find yourself breastfeeding or feeding your children you are dedicating your children to satanic altars or you find yourself doing exam in your former school and right now you're working but you can't understand how you are dreaming with school that's a narrow of backwardness being fired into your life there are so many kind of attacks the enemy uses at night night time is the best time the enemy knows how to attack people when they are asleep because their spirit goes down and that is the time he rises up to attack them but that is also the best time children of god should rise up and counter any kind of arrow being fired into their lives by the enemy because what the enemy says it doesn't matter the what matters is what says concerning your life and i love the way the what god says in jeremiah 29 11. he has good plans for children of god he has good plans for you hmm let me just read a bible from my uh read a verse from my bible in the book of exodus chapter 5 verses 1 to 2 just listen to what the enemy could be saying to your life saying to your condition saying to your situation um I read uh, Exodus chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. And afterward, Moses, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, that says the Lord God of Israel, let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, who is the Lord that I should obey his voice and let Israel go? I will not. I know not the Lord, neither will I let the Israelites go. That could be your situation today. Somebody is addicted to drugs. Somebody is, his family is broken and it looks irreparable. There is sickness which is saying, I can't let you go. Who is that Lord who is saying, I let you go? There is a situation somewhere listening to me and that situation is saying i can't let you go you've been struggling with it years and years and years but i come with goodness and say the lord is speaking the lord has sent me with good words today and you're going to be set free let me go again to book of uh, exodus chapter 6 verses 1 to 3 and the lord said unto moses now you shall see what i will do to Pharaoh. Now you shall see what I will do to that sickness. Now you shall see what I will do to that situation. Come with me. Mm, for with a strong hand shall he let them go. I love that. For with a strong hand that sickness, that situation shall let you go. It doesn't matter who he is. It doesn't matter what it is. It is letting you go by fire, by force because it's God who is speaking. And he says, and with strong hand shall he drive them out of the land. And God spoke to Moses and he said unto them, I am the Lord. I appeared unto Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob by the name God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah, I was not known to them. 
that situation yesterday it just knew you you are a good church goer you are a child of god but god has sent me to tell you is jehovah who is coming to rescue you in that situation who is coming to rescue you in that situation and is going to set free is going to set you free in the name of jesus christ come with me again in the book of uh, uh, exodus again chapter 14 verses um, 13 verses 13 uh, to 15 and it says and Moses said unto the people fear ye not stand still and see the salvation of the Lord God which is which he will show you today God is a God of today which he will show you today for the Egyptians you've been seeing you will see them no more ye shall see them no more forever forever that is the word of God saying that the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. And, and the Lord said unto Moses, why cries unto me? Why are you panicking because of what doctors have said? Why are you panicking because of that girl who has taken your husband? Why are you panicking because of that child has, that has gone into drugs? God is saying, stop crying. Let me read again. And the Lord said unto Moses, Why are you crying unto me? Speak to the children of God that they move forward. I come with the word of God. Now, in that situation you're facing, I command it, let it go out of your life. Move forward. God has sent three things. Hold your peace. The, that God is the one fighting for you. And number three, move forward. Move forward. Trust in the Lord and move forward. You are moving forward from that situation. As I, as I advance into my prayers, I want to bring an example. Um, the incident of Jesus when uh, he was with his disciples in a boat. And there was... Um, the waves broke over the boat and the sink and this and the boat was almost sinking and jesus was seeming enjoying his sleep and the panic crept in the mind of the disciples and they asked him teacher don't you care we are perishing that is what you i know that is what you're saying god don't you care this cancer is killing me. Don't you care? My family is being torn apart. Don't you care? My children are being driven out of my family. Don't you care? These witches, they seem to be stronger than me. But God seems to be calm, seems to be enjoying his time. And he said, call upon, call unto me in the day of trouble and I shall deliver thee. That is in the book of Psalms chapter 15. God, and when the disciples, the disciples, called unto God, called unto Jesus. He rose up and he said, be still. And the sea was calm. You see, the waves of a sea, if you see them, they are very scary, extreme. They can be as high as a mountain. But God just lifted his hand and said, be still. And at once, the wind obeyed him. Any situation you're suffering today, any person under the influence of my voice, I am speaking under the anointing of my God, the blood of Jesus, the anointing God that has put in my life. And they command every wind, command every storm, command every sickness and disease. They command it in the name of Jesus. Like, let it go. Let it go. Let there be calm in your life in Jesus' mighty name. I want to war with the word of God because the word of God says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12, for the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than two-edged sword, piercing even to dividing of the soul, the spirit, the joints, the marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. I want to speak with the word of God to that situation as a war in the book of uh, War in the verse of um, war using the Bible verse in book of Isaiah 41 15. Behold, I make you a threshing instrument, new, comma, sharp, comma, having teeth. You shall tear your enemies or your mountains, you shall crush them, you will make hills chaff. It will be like karatasi, zilo me katakata ivi. You will winnow them or you will toss them and the wind shall carry them. The Holy Spirit shall sweep them. Once you tear them, the Holy Spirit shall sweep them and the wind shall scatter them. And you shall rejoice in the Lamb of the Lord, in the Holy One of Israel. That is the book of Isaiah 41, 15. God says, I make you a new threshing sharp 
instrument with teeth and you shall thresh your instrument you shall thresh the enemies of the mountain crushing them small I also wore again using the word the word of God in Luke 10 verses 19. God says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpent, upon scorpion, and upon powers of the enemy, and nothing, nothing, I repeat again, nothing by enemy shall harm you. I come today to decree any witch, any sorcerer, any evil altar, speaking any negative word concerning your life i come in the name of jesus christ the name above every other name and i command those words to be nullified by the blood of jesus i nullify the powers of those altars in the name of jesus christ i come to bind them and rebuke them i come to bind every arrow of the enemy in your body i come to bind every sickness and disease in your body i come to bind it in the name of jesus christ and i command it to let you go in the name of jesus christ I command it to let go in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ and render it powerless. Tell it it has no power in your life. Tell it it has no power in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, may you advance me. May you surround me with your fire. May you surround me with your power. May you release your anointing in my life. May you release angelic support in this in, the, in this hour. Lord, as I pray for your children, as I speak to the air, to the air, listen to me and listen me good. Whoever who is listening to this telecast, may the air that they shall breathe, they may it bring fire into their body. And any arrow fired into your body, I command it to dislocate. I command it to dislocate. Any arrow fired into your brain, fired into your mind, fired into your neck, fired into your chest, fired into your stomach, fired into your womb, and doctors are calling it fibroid. I command it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name. I command any attack of the enemy.